go from a spectral density measurement to a transfer function, you would. So first of all, I do not plug my source in just yet because as soon as you set this up, normally it starts to output something like a thousand millivolt into wherever you're plugging it in. So I'm just going to leave it off for now until I'm ready to roll. Uh, first, you will need to display. Just go to display option. Format is now dual. Uh, oh, actually, there's a trick here. So back, go, well, you don't have to go back, but uh, in this place setup measurement group, you want to make sure that your PSD unit is off. Otherwise, the transfer function unit is not going to make any sense. It's, I think it's some kind of bug that hasn't been fixed in like past 20 years or so. Anyway. Now back to dual display, uh, now in this active display button you can pick between your two, uh, your amplitude and phase measurement, so in measurement group you want to go to, uh, sorry, swap sign, this will apply to both screen and you want me your measurement to be frequency response. So what's the unit doing, it is in dB, so that is good, that's what we want. See, like as soon as you start into this uh, swap sign mode, your source is. Uh, I, I preset it 250 millivolt, but sometimes when you start with a fresh machine, you have 1000 millivolt also. Uh, so units in dB up here, units in degree here, so that's all fine. I think we are ready to take some measurements. So, first I put my source to zero just in case. And where is my source? Test 2, excitation, there you go. Yep. So I plug in my source here. Now the source is 150 millivolt. To make sure I'm allowing the excitation to go in. Where is my board? And uh, excitation is available here. Enable, I mean, now it can start. And you don't want to overdrive your loop because otherwise you get some funny effects. And that's it. That's your measurement. So to save this, make sure that you save one uh, for each. So first you go on to amplitude, output, print S key dump, and then you would do it again for the bottom one to get the phase measurement. Alright, that's it.